national security, immigration, abortion, religion. Back with all the news, here's Chris Aiken. All right, it is all the news. It is Chris Aiken. And uh, isn't it fun when when a non-plan comes together to... Uh, to kind of work. <laughs> this show is, uh, it, it's funny how, uh, you know, I, I really didn't plan these segments out in order. I just sort of had a list of things I wanted to cover. And now getting to what we're about to do here, this really encapsulates everything that we've done so far. Uh, this, um, this next segment, we are going to break down a, um, we're going to, well, we're going to profile a member of the United States House of Representatives that was voted in by the people. And uh, this person voted for the health care bill. And, uh, you know, this is going to encapsulate everything we've talked about so far. It's going to encapsulate, you know, health care. It's going to encapsulate racism. And ultimately, it's probably going to prove that I'm a racist because I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be profiling in a negative light a black man who voted for the health care bill. That's two strikes against me, isn't it? Jeez. Perfect. But I, but whatever, I'm going to profile and let you guys decide for yourself what you think of um, United States House of Representatives Representative Hank Johnson Jr. Hank is from Georgia's 4th District. He preceded Cynthia McKinney. Remember Cynthia McKinney, the lady that uh, pitched a bitch about the way she was treated on a plane and came off like an absolute loon? Remember her? Back in, what, 2006 or 5, whatever that was? Yeah, well, this guy replaced her, and he's a, he's a beaut all by himself, as we'll see. But maybe I'm wrong, so don't, let's not, let me, let me take everything I've said back so far, because I don't want to form anybody's opinions yet. I want you guys to form your own opinions based on the factual information that we're about to present to you, okay? So let's check him out. Henry C. Hank Johnson, Jr., was born October 2nd, 1954, and is a member of the United States House of Representatives. He represents Georgia's 4th Congressional District. The district is based in DeKalb County, uh, a large suburban county east of Atlanta. It also includes portions of Gwinnett and Rockdale counties. Uh, Mr. Johnson is a Democrat. Johnson was elected to the U.S. House in the November 7, 2006 general election. That means you, the people, put Mr. Johnson in, um, for those, at least those of you that vote in that district, and um, in, I guess, in Georgia. So there we go. Um, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Johnson is a member of the House Democratic leadership de- elected by the Democratic Caucus to serve as whip to Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. So if you're in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, or Florida, this is your guy. This is your guy. So be proud, Mississippi and uh, Atlanta and Georgia and Florida, because this is your guy. Uh, Johnson also serves on the House Armed Services Committee and the Judiciary Committee. And that's good, because what we're going to deal with here in a minute is absolutely tied to the Armed Services Committee. In fact, uh, you're going to hear him speaking at the Arms Armed Services Committee and... Uh, He's a pip. (laughs) That is for sure. But I don't want you to think that Mr. Johnson is an uneducated man, because he's not. Johnson graduated from Clark College, now known as the Clark Atlanta University, in 1976, was a member of the Omega Sci Fi Kappa Alpha Alpha chapter of Decatur, Georgia, and Texas Southern University's Thurgood Marshall School of Law in Houston in 1979. So this guy has a law degree. And um, is a graduate of of two colleges here. He's a graduate of the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. He's also a graduate of Clark Atlanta University, or Clark College as it was known then. Um, he practiced law for 25 years. So this is an educated man. He is very educated. Very smart guy. Uh, Johnson grew up in Washington, D.C. His father worked for the Bureau of Prisons and was the director of classifications and paroles up to that time. Up to that time, he was the highest ranking African-American in the Bureau. So it's a proud tradition in the American African-American community for Mr. Hank Johnson's family. And that's great. That is fantastic, right? 
Uh, unfortunately, in 2009, in December, Johnson revealed that he has been battling hepatitis C for over a decade. So he's got some health issues. You know, thank God he's got health care now. Oh, that's right. These guys in the house, they don't have to live by our health care system. That's right. Those guys get a different system that's not what we get. They get better than what we do. They don't have to live by the laws they pass. That's right. But in any event, Mr. Johnson is well taken care of. That That's my point here. Good for him. He um, suffers from hepatitis C. He has for 10 years. Uh, he said it has been de- he has been declared free of the virus, but his liver suffered some damage, so now he has long-term health issues. Thank God again, he doesn't have to live by Obamacare, and that, that way he can get taken care of well. So good for him. Okay, so uh, Mr. Hank Johnson, he is a, well, he's an elected official in the... Uh, Georgia, in Georgia, House of Representatives. Um, in the 2000, 2006 election, uh, Johnson forced former Representative Cynthia, Cynthia McKinney into a runoff by holding McKinney under 50% in the July 18, 2006 Democratic primary. McKinney got 47.1% of the vote. Johnson, 444 And a third candidate got 8.5%. Man, what does that say? That the third third party candidate... Got eight and a half percent. Jeez. Mm. McKinney had been favored to win, so her narrow margin surprised observers. Johnson picked up support because after the primary, he seemed to have a real possibility of winning. So there you go. In a runoff of August 8th, 2006, although there were about 8,000 more voters, McKinney got about the same number of votes as in the July primary. Johnson won with 41,178 votes, 59%. McKinney got 28,832, or 41% of the vote. So ultimately, this guy is, you know, he's been a public servant. He's uh, done his due diligence, and, um, you know, he shocked the world, so to speak, in 2006 when he was elected to the House of Representatives. So making a long story short here, Mr. Johnson has been in the House of Representatives, House of Representatives since 2006, and um, you know he's done some things. He's um, if you look at his uh, look at his bio, he's definitely had some um, interesting things that have been out there. He's voted for some things that I support him on. For an example, in November 2008, the guy voted against the Troubled Asset Relief Program, also known as TARP, and I'm certainly for that. You know, we certainly don't want TARP. That's for sure. Um, Unfortunately, the guy does not always vote the right way. Uh, He voted in favor of the Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. The stimulus package, which was supported by Democrats in Congress and President Barack Obama. So this guy believes that even if you are a failure as a business owner, and you've made a lot of money in the past... Therefore, you should be bailed out so that you can keep failing as a business owner. Way to go, Hank. Yes, Hank Johnson voted for that. And most recently, Hank Johnson also voted for Obamacare. He absolutely did. It's on his website, if you don't believe me, his statement about it. Um, Also, uh, the big claim to fame for Mr. Drum, Hank Johnson. In 2009, Johnson demanded censure of Republican Joe Wilson's you lie remark. Remember that? When President Obama was giving his little speech and somebody yelled out, you lie. That was was, uh, Joe Wilson. And Hank Johnson demanded censure, arguing that the comment had an unseen racial overtone and that if Wilson was not formally rebuked, we will have people with white hoods running through the countryside again. <laughs> because Mr. Obama was called a liar, that means we're mounting the horses and putting on the white hoods and getting our crosses ready to burn. Is that right, Hank? Is that how you see it, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, and isn't it interesting how it always leads back to racism? How in the world can you take these two words, you lie, and stem that as racism? How is that racism? How? Anybody? Anybody got any idea how that could be racism? Oh, boy. But, yeah, so so Hank Johnson, he, he was, 
Johnson, he he was 